here's a quick look at the Float application from Digia. It's running here on the Nokia C7, but it's available for all Nokia smartphone touch devices. It's also available for the iPhone and the Android platforms. Float is a social networking application with a strong music emphasis. The idea is that you follow artists, you can also have private friend connections as well, but following artists you can then get information from them. You can see here some of the status updates if we just jump into one of these. You can see the artist posts a, a message originally and then it gets followed up by other people here talking about whether they're going to be able to attend the gig or not. It's really a way for music and artists to you know, share extra information, sort of more so than you might get on the traditional social networks, a sort of more intimate relationship if you like. You can see here that the artist list, these are all the artists that you can choose to follow. Obviously Float is only as useful as you know the artists that are actually on here, but there's an increasing number, there's some good examples here. Alex Morph and Arm in Van Buren are both quite active and are sort of doing special things for their followers on Flow, you know, exclusive events and ticket options and things like that. So, so you've also got the friends here, that's the sort of traditional social networking connections and you can exchange private messages. As I say, you know, that really comes into its own when you're attending an event together, you can sort of share information messages back and forth. As is typical with these social networking applications, there's also a sort of strong place element to it. You can see if we just uh, pop into one of these, you get uh, the, the typical information here. You can leave comments and photos. Interesting bit of integration here with show on map. Uh, it uses Nokia's Ovi maps for that using the background APIs. Um, if we go back to things, we can see an example where you can actually see someone shared a photo about, an, about a particular place. Let's just pop into one of these. You can see this is all happening very quickly. You know, Float has been very nicely implemented. Uh, so there we go, that's a look at the Float application, so as I say, a social networking music application. If you're into music, want to follow some of your favourite artists, it's well worth doing. I think it's also interesting from a technical point of view, Float has actually been implemented using QML, and as far as I'm aware, it's one of the first applications available on Store. so using QML, that's based obviously on Qt. And you can see here, as a result, we've got a very slick, a very fast-performing application.